here in the Final Cut Pro 10.5, this is the edition for the Big Sur and of course the new M1 Max. From when the comic looks effect came to Final Cut Pro, I was thinking what is going to be a good idea to create uh, effects on your video with comic and you don't want to make your videos look like a comic. So I was thinking what if we get this effect, combine it with some adjustment layers and create some transition effects that we can use for our videos. Let's go and see it in action. I have some footage that I'm gonna use from Artgrid and also the music for this video is from Artlist. I will have links in the description of this video down below if you need any stock footage or music for your videos. So I'm gonna drag this so I have the audio. Let's cut here, it's gonna be the first transition. All right, let's get this and then again make here another one okay let's bring this We go into titles and adjustment layers. If you don't have adjustment layers, you will find a link in the description of this video down below for you to download them for free. And if you don't know the process, you download it and you simply go to movies, motion templates, and then titles, you copy and paste them there. So I'm gonna drag some adjustment layer and let's say that, uh, let me zoom in a little bit, that I want the transition to take place one, Go very close and I'm gonna count two frames one two select be on my keyboard and blade it and then again one two blade it again one two right arrow on my keyboard blade it one two blade it I'm gonna press A so I can select this and this and delete them and then I'm gonna go here I'm gonna blade again let me drag this adjustment layer above and I will go into the comic basic okay as you can see now here we have already created the comic effect now I'm gonna go into the posterize levels and drag it all the way to the right Ink fill, I'm gonna drag it to the left so I don't have a lot of ink. The ink edges, as you see when I'm going into the right, it gets um, more of the posterized look. And also I can play with mix, right? So I can set it, for example, to 60%. I'm gonna select this where I have the effects. I'm gonna press Command C so I can copy and then I'm going to select the other two, Command, Option, V, so I can paste all the attributes. And check this out. Now for the second, I can go and select the Comic Ink. I'm going to drag this, place it here. Right now, you see that we don't see a lot of things, but if I drag the mix a little bit to the left, we see some magic that it's starting happening. We will see more details on the next of what we're gonna do the next clip I can have the ink edges more you play you play on the inspector panel with all the settings so you can match your own taste what you want to show in your videos okay here again I'm gonna create some blade cuts so I can create the glitch type of transition let's go again here okay and I'm deleting this and of course we're gonna drag another adjustment layer and let's try the comic mono this time
and then we can go one frame two frames it's gonna be to your taste what you want to change i will create some glitches to the end let's do one more be on my keyboard one two and then delete this as well and check it out and lastly what is left to complete this uh, comic glitch transition is sound design sound effect so we will go into art list io and we will go into the sound effects and type glitch let's uh, try some glitches here okay that's a good one let's go here okay that's a good one as well and this one and let's place now the sound design okay i'm gonna cut here keep this And we're done. This was a very quick and straightforward one. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to stay tuned on the channel, subscribe to all this great YouTube stuff because I'm planning to release more videos like this one in the very near future. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.